Um, to echo Mark, you know, thanks, thanks everyone so much for coming. Um, it's really great to see you all here. Uh, when we started Tic Tac in London last year, uh, I was really worried that no one would come. And a lot of you here today um, came to that and, and made it a great success and, and gave us the, the kind of courage and belief to, to do this again. Um, so we decided to do it in Barcelona. Um, we were again worried, mm, is, everyone gonna, is anyone going to come to Barcelona? Um, obviously, Barcelona is awesome. So thank you, thank you all for coming, making the journey to Barcelona. I know some of you have come from a really long way away. Um, and thank you to everyone that submitted, uh, submitted presentations, submitted suggestions, submitted papers. Uh, we had over 120 submissions, um, and it was really, really difficult to, to kind of sift through all of them. Unfortunately, we couldn't uh, provide time for everyone to speak, so it was difficult to make those decisions. And, and thank you all for kind of believing and, and, and making the conference what it is, because, because you are going to make the conference. You know, we've, we've done all the organization, but it's going to be a success because everyone here is, is going to take part and, and take something away, hopefully. So thank you again. So I just wanted to start off, start the ball rolling, talking about research, talking about what we've been doing. Um, I actually showed this slide at Tic Tac last year. Um, you know, why, why do research in this field? And as Mark uh, said earlier, you know, we really, we really want to be at a point where we can prove that we're making a difference. You know, civic tech has, has really matured over the last few years, and, and part of that maturing process has to be uh, moving beyond quite superficial measures of success, like you know how many hits you're getting on a website, to, to really showing that you're making a kind of tangible difference in people's lives, in government behaviours. Um, so this is this is really our focus. You know, we really we want we want to do this right. We want to, to make real real impact, be known and be measured. And the way that we've framed our approach um, is that we've kind of tried to divide the problem into two dimensions because impact is kind of all encompassing. You know, impact covers an awful, awful lot of things um, from you know that first moment when you're trying to get people into to using civic technology uh, to the moment where they've left it and they've gone on and maybe done something really inspirational way after they've left the civic tech behind. Um, it encompasses a lot of actors, in, you know, not just the individuals. We're interested in how civic tech is changing governments. We're interested in how civic tech is changing the wider tech world. Um, so we've got all kinds of fronts where, where we're trying to look at exactly where we're making a difference. So this is a bit of a scary table. Please don't strain to see it. Our research framework is on, on our website. It looks much prettier on there as well. Um, but this is kind of, we, we did, used a Haddon's matrix to develop this table uh, to try and figure out where individual points of impact might be um, and try and identify where we can start, where we can start asking questions, where we can start popping answers into, into these kind of boxes. Um, so yeah, it, this is on our website. If you're kind of interested in the framework itself, please, please go and have a look. But the point was that we wanted to kind of fill all these boxes with questions and fill them all, hopefully, with answers, which is a Herculean task. You know, this was never going to be done in two years. I could probably spend the rest of my life asking interesting questions um, in these boxes. So what have we done since the last Tic Tac? Well, you'll be pleased to know we have actually done some research. Our, our funders at Hewlett hopefully will be delighted that um, we've been doing what we said we were going to do with their money. Um, and we've, we've done quite a lot, you know, considering we're a very, very tiny, tiny research team. Um, I think we've, we've done an awful lot with the last 12 months. So we've published a paper on demographics and public attitudes, who benefits from specific technology. I know a lot of you uh, will have read that report. Um, that was really important for us in kind of really just starting at the beginning, you know, who actually uses civic technology. Uh, that was one of the questions I asked when I actually interviewed for this job at my society. I said, well, well who uses your websites? And the answer was, well, actually, we don't know. You know, we use them. <laughs> uh, we, know, we know some people use them, but we don't know who they are. So that seemed like a really logical place to, to actually get going. And as Mark said earlier, one of the things that we found out is that an awful lot of the people that are using civic tech at the moment are, are already quite empowered. They're already quite, you know, effective engaging with, with kind of civic society, civic life. Um, so that's a really good, you know, that's a great thing to know. As, as Mark said, we've done a lot of finding out what we don't know 
Um, and, you know, because of some of this work that we've been doing this year, we're in a far better position to kind of start trying to find out those, those newer things about impact. Um, so again, all of our research we, we put on our website, so if you want to read those reports, please, please go and do that. And our partners, you know, we, we don't just do research ourselves in-house. One of the main things that we want to do is actually work with other people. You know, we, we don't have the resources to do everything ourselves, and we really want to, to work with universities, to work with students, to work with other organizations, uh, to pool data, to cross-reference data, you know, to, to have other researchers looking at some of our data in a, in a different light. All of these things are going to be really useful. Um, so over the last year or so, we've done research with MIT, um, with UCL, uh, with the World Bank, um, and we've got a few more in the pipeline. Our, our speaker, Guy Grossman, is someone with, that we're currently working with, looking at some of our data. So it's, it's really important that we do work with other people and, and that we can kind of pool as many resources as possible into looking at these problems. So going back to, going back to my matrix, um, we're slowly, we're slowly trying to populate these boxes. Um, we've only got one or two studies in everything. In some of them, we've still got boxes that are empty. Um, my kind of appeal to everyone here is if you have data, if you have resources, if you want to do research with our data, please come and talk to us. It would be lovely to speak to you. It would be lovely to see if we can work together because we want to fill those boxes with all sorts of different studies. We want to be able to look at everything from lots and lots of different angles, using lots of different data across different countries. And looking ahead, we've got a few research activities planned for 2016. We're building research uh, partnerships for research all the time, and we've still got a long way to go. So as I say, please, please do come and speak to me. Um, I would love to get a chance to speak to everyone here at some point. Um, so if you see me wandering around, just you know, give me a nudge. It'd be great to, to have a conversation about what we can do together. Um, and that's really it from me. Um, I will please also tweet, tell people there, there are lots of people that couldn't come. Um, we actually, we, we are full, we're sold out. So we actually had to start turning people away from this conference and we've been telling everyone to follow the hashtag. So, you know, don't boast too much. <laughs> but um, yeah, please do tweet and, and, you know, carry the conversations on that way. Thank you very much.